On the table today, we have another sub $50 ultimate value knife from the king of value themselves, Migron. We're going to talk a little bit about this brand, why they're so good, and this knife in general. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with the knife I purchased. This is called the Centurion. Now, this has G10 handle scales, mill titanium pocket clip, G10 backspacer, flipper tab, and thumb stud deployment and has a really cool looking blade. A lot of belly, a lot, a lot of belly on this knife. And it is in 14C28N, something that I very much appreciate. And at under $50, this is one of the best value knives out there. But we've come to expect that from this brand. Now, I will be really honest with you. This is probably my least favorite of the Migrons that I have purchased but it doesn't change the fact that it has all of the same characteristics that make it such an incredible value. So first of all, you can get them in a variety of different color combinations. I'll link some of them down below. But uh, yeah, always they come with insanely good action, great fit and finish. Many cases they have crown spines um, and clean looks. At under 50, they are absolutely the kings of value. And it's largely due to the fact that they include a mill titanium pocket clip. The question is, besides looks, is this actually an advantage? And the answer is absolutely yes. A mill titanium pocket clip, although it doesn't sit as deeply into the pocket, is going to really resist being bent or destroyed by things that you might be walking by. And a lot of times, like in this case, where it's rounded on the corners, it's, it basically doesn't hook onto anything. And that is kind of the key here. You have a clip that is very, very strong and also isn't going to get caught on everything that you're walking by. So that is really great. Sub $50 for that knife, which is also true for all of these knives. And then we have the Verona or Valona, which is just at 52. Now this is their largest knife that I can see. It has a four and a quarter inch blade length still with the same crazy action crown spine 14c 28 n blade steel great fuller really cool knife really cool 52 dollars. that's the top of what they have in this lineup coming in at the very bottom of this lineup is this thing and this is currently sitting at 27 dollars for 14c 28n um, liner lock now, this doesn't have a milled titanium pocket clip, and it doesn't have a reversible clip. But still, very, very, very nice that this knife is. For what the costs, I don't know if there's many knives that are going to give you more value than this at that price point. I think what makes it not as, much, not as popular is just the chunky nature of it, but I actually kind of like it. If you're actually going to do some hard work with it, then it's definitely preferable. It has a hollow grind, and uh, yeah, 27 bucks. But I think my favorite, and my favorite is actually one of the least expensive on the table. And this is the Acri, I think, A-K-R-I. And it is a front, front flipper only, mill titanium pocket clip, crown spine, once again, brass bolster. Or sorry, brass pivot collar is what I meant. Hollow ground at like three and three and three fourths inches blade. This thing is absolutely amazing. The action is crazy good. The front flipper is one of my favorites, maybe in any knife. Just so good. And this thing is coming in under $40. This was $36 the last time I checked. 36 for that combination. Name any brand that can, that can deliver a mill titanium pocket clip, 14C, 20N, G10, and that action, and fit and finish for $37. It does not exist. I promise you. I have been looking because I'm always looking for a bargain, because I think it's fun. Maybe it's just my obsession. And this is unbeatable as of right now. Now, I, I think there's like one coloration that's still 37. I'll, I'll put that listing down below. But definitely pick one up under 40 if you can get it. Now, at the $50 price point, there are two knives that I think are even better. But they're also like more expensive. So that kind of tampers it down a little bit. The Pagos. Another incredible action on this. Does not have a functional fuller, but the action is actually better than all of the others on the table. It does have a front flipper, but it's not my favorite. It's okay. Not great. 
You can see I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of that. But hey, once again, just under $50 for that. And the probably the best sub $50 knife. Uh, you can hear um, Stasis 23. This is one of his favorite and most carried knives. And I think for very good reason. The ergonomics are awesome. The great choke up points and plenty of handle real estate. Reversible clip is possible here. Great liner lock, great action, 14C28M. All right, so in five minutes, five, six minutes, we've basically covered the majority of the knives coming out of this company. There are, I think, two other models, if I'm correct, maybe two other budget models, and I, my guess is that they're all in this same caliber. I do hope that this company continues to make knives like this, and because I like to have a gold standard of value. This is the gold standard of value. At under 40, you have this one. Under 30, you have this one. And under 50, you have these guys. These three. Um, all of them, like, very different blade shapes now. So this is kind of cool that they have uh, a couple of different designs. That one's a little bit bigger. And then you have this. I think what they're missing right now is a Warncliffe blade shape at the sub-$50 mark with all the same stats. Like, a, a good, comfortable draw cutting beast that's what we need we need that um that's what's missing from this lineup in fact they don't have a warncliffe design so i'm hoping that they will see this and maybe consider uh maybe adding one of those to the lineup now a lot of times these are actually uh, they're actually uh premium versions like in the 200 dollars range with m390 titanium and all that i don't see any in the lineup that would that would actually be you know similar so maybe just make a new model but definitely it's worth it and any of these knives which i will link down below yeah they're about as good as it gets under 50 bucks okay this one's a little bit more but you get my point okay this is the king of value right here migron enough said i have bought every single knife on the table i just want to be clear i have bought every single one and i don't have any regrets okay so as always guys thank you so much for your time tuning in for this short video and uh we'll talk again soon